This is southeastern Tennessee's Copper Basin today. The 60,000 acre site is a lush, green, and clean outdoor entertainment area where visitors enjoy scenic views of nature, along with hiking, fishing, swimming, and kayaking. Not so long ago, however, the Copper Basin was viewed as one of the world's most toxic and dangerous sites for humans. Since the mid-1850s, the site was a major mining area for copper, iron, and zinc, and later to acid production plants. When mining and acid operations ended in 1987, the site was left void of all vegetation, severely contaminated watersheds, and a catastrophic absence of fish and aquatic species. So desolate, the remaining barren and Mars-like landscape itself became a local tourist attraction. In the early 2000s, local, state, and federal leaders decided enough was enough. Thanks to unbelievable engineering innovation, taking nearly 20 years, the Copper Hill Basin today is a tourist destination of a different kind, this time as a wonderland of nature. We started working on the Copper Hill site, the historic mining and manufacturing activities that left behind very large waste piles in and around the creeks. And it was these piles that was causing the contamination that was severely impacting the watershed. The nearly two decade restoration required more than 100 work plans addressing multiple assessments, remedial designs, and long-term monitoring needs. Specific actions included removal and disposal of left behind mining and acid production waste, stream reconstruction and restoration, installation of two engineered wetlands for treatment of acid mine water, and reestablishment of natural, healthy communities of aquatic insects to all waterways. Two of the main areas we were able to have the most success in that was finding an alternative storage for the non-hazardous mining materials. Where does that need to go? And then overall coming up with multiple layer, different type of material caps to protect uh, those streams and help restore the water quality in those streams ultimately from contamination. The innovative solution that I think contributed most to the success of this project was the use of adaptive management approach. So unlike the traditional assessment, then feasibility study, and then corrective actions happening in series, we went ahead and moved forward with some initial remedial actions with limited assessment activities having been completed. This approach really helped compress the schedule for the restoration. You go into the engineering profession to make a difference, and the Copper Basin used to be known to the early astronauts that orbited the Earth as one of only two man-made features you could see while in orbit. The other was the Great Wall of China. Now today, people visit that site to fish in the Okoe River, to hike the area trails, to learn about mining activities as education and what happened on the site. It's been an awesome journey to work with the EPA, the Tennessee Department of Environment and Conservation, Glen Springs Holdings, and the folks at Barge and all around to bring this site to the level that it is today, that it's such a community asset. The Copper Hill Watershed Restoration Project transformed an enormous, century-old abandoned and hazardous site into a vibrant outdoor recreation area flush with natural splendor and a monumental example of engineering excellence.